Hello, this is just a quick review for Adventure Time. Um, Jake and Finn Investigations. I think that's what it's called, I can't remember. Um, but recently, I only just discovered this Adventure Time. Like, I had seen it about, and I had seen people dressed up and cosplay as Jake and Finn. And I thought, what the fuck? You know what I mean? It's like a kid's cartoon. I didn't realise, you know, like, what was the attraction to it. Um, but... It's hilarious. It's like more trippy than I don't know. I like watching what was that cartoon everyone used to watch? And you think, oh yeah, you get oh SpongeBob. You know what I mean? You, they're like oh, watching SpongeBob's like having an LSD trip because it's so trippy. This is a million times more surreal than SpongeBob SquarePants. Jake, um, Adventure Time is absolutely crazy. It's on ITV. Like, if you live in England, it's on ITV, which is like basically Channel Three. And it's on like during the day. It's on at I think it's some. It's in the morning actually. I think it's on at some at like quarter to eleven or half ten in the morning. And um, the cartoons are only twenty minutes long, and they're so funny. They're absolutely outrageous, and they just don't make any sense. They're just it's just mint and I, I honestly I couldn't stop laughing at some of the episodes I've seen and then when I looked at the information like on Sky it's like it said series 6 episode 23 I was like fucking hell there's like 6 series and then there's more than 23 episodes in every series so I'm going to try and watch like the back catalogue for them and try and watch like from season 1 like episode 1 because they're so funny and like I said they're only on for 20 minutes but this game is class. If the only reason I've give this game the time of day is because of the new cartoon that I've just discovered. Like, if I didn't like the cartoon, I wouldn't have bothered. So I've give this a try, and basically it's um it's like where you're walking around and it's investigating, uh, like the in the name of the game. You, you're collecting clues and you can combine stuff in your satchel to make. Like other stuff like that um, bottle of bubbles there. You have to go to the sink and fill it up with water. Then you find some soap and you add that. You combine that with that pink bottle. And then you find the lid. Which has got the little bubble blower thing on the end. And then you have to combine that. Like all in your inventory. So it's about combining stuff. Finding clues. Like when it gives you options there. Like the magnifying glass. Or the bottle or your hand. They just correlate with what button you're pressing. So what I'm flicking through there would be square. The magnifying glass is X and the hand is circle. So whatever position those circles are correlates to what button you press on the thing. So it's dead simple. And um, you talk to people, you find out stuff. Um, you investigate everything with a uh, magnifying glass basically. Um, and that gives you clues and it gives you more options when you go to talk to people. Um, you know, like gives you more conversation options. Um, but you can flick through your inventory, that little uh, the leaf at the moment, and your L2 and R2 flicks through everything you've picked up along the way. Um, like I said, you can combine stuff. It's worth looking at everything. The only thing I don't like, maybe because it's a demo, but you can't skip like any of this bullshit. So if you talk to somebody and they say a big sentence like this, and then later on you try and talk to him again and he just says the same sentence, you can't think, oh yeah, I've already spoke to him. I'll just skip what he's talking about and like walk away. You have to wait for him to finish. So that's a bit annoying. Um, and obviously there's no there's no buttons apart from like what it tells you you can do like you, there's no jumping and stuff but you can use Jake like this to help you get uh, like open the puzzles but you have to flick with L2 and R2 say I need to flick back onto Jake and then press square and then he can help us down so it's about flicking through your inventory um, and using what you've got in your inventory to solve the puzzles um, collecting stuff and then going back there's a lot of backtracking like you know there's a lot of going to rooms you've already been to a million times to get something or to activate something because there was like a, a candle like a, what the Americans call a candelabra which is like a set of candles you know like candlesticks and then uh, you've got to 
like get some candles so you've got to go into a different room find the candles then you've got to go somewhere else and get the matches then you have to come back put the candles in the candelabra then you have to light the matches and then that uncovers a secret bookcase entrance kind of thing so it's, th it's those kind of games so it's a puzzle it's like a puzzle detection like investigation game so like i say this like style of game is like years old um, and there's a million times better games than this out for that but if you've seen the cartoon then that alone will make you want to play this game just once you've watched a few episodes even one or two and you'll just think this is class. I mean, the animation, if you look at because one's a human and the other dog, he's like an alien. But I don't know, it's hard to explain because nothing makes sense. There's like a bubblegum princess and then there's like a guy who's got like a lemon drop, for like sweet, for a head. You know what I mean? There's just like loads of mad shit. There's um, like everything talks. You know, like, everything's got a personality and everything's got, like, a sentient being. Like, you can talk to, like, a tree or, like, a cloud or, you know, everything's alive. But, um, it, like I said, it's just trippy as hell. You, it's hard to understand, uh, explain. You need to watch it to understand it. Um, but, like I said, it's class if you like the cartoon because it, it is basically you are playing the cartoon. You know, like, I'm in the candy... I'm in the candy, ca uh, the candy town castle thing here. So you have to be able to, like at first when I, when you first come here, there's guards, guard in the kitchen and guard in the bedroom and shit like that. See, so I've got to put the candles on, but I didn't have the matches. So you know, I need to go and get some matches to light them. But see that purple thing looking through the window, that's like a massive sweet or like a hard boiled sweet or something. That he's like a guard. And you talk to him about, because somebody's been kidnapped, and this is the crime scene. And you've got to work out, because somebody's got the blame. This bloke called Abraka Daniels, he got the blame. So you have to try and, like, figure out, like, prove his innocence, basically. Um, so, like I say, it's kind of good when you get into the story. But, again, I'm only giving it the time of day, because I've seen the cartoon. I'm banging into the cartoon. Like, I'm not really into this kind of kiddish cartoons like I have to be into it you know from um, the 80s or something if it was He-Man or something I'd love it but any new cartoons I mean even Family Guy is hilarious or South Park um, but I wouldn't want to own them on DVD but this kind of uh, this cartoon I would I would actually go out and buy them on DVD because they're so funny man honestly it's, it's like you can watch it as a kid and just enjoy it for what it is but as an adult when you're listening to what they're saying and like just the voices and stuff there's nothing rude about it it's not like family guy where they're doing like double entendres and like there's a joke for the parents and a joke for the kids this is just pure nonsense like fucked up it's like you're on an lsd trip man and it's that what makes it funny it's that what you can't believe like you know you start laughing your tits off because it's just so stupid but um this is another part of the game I forgot to mention. It's the uh, the combat, and when you've got so many combos, those two fists, Jake and Finn's fists, meet in the middle, then you get up, down, left, right on your directional pad to pick a different power up. Um, and because you can see the sword in the bottom right hand corner, because you can flick through, you must be able to get different weapons as Finn. Um, but obviously he uses his magic sword like he does on the cartoon. Um, but once you've built it up, but I tried out nearly all of the um, all of the directions, so you get to see a bit of everything. That's the catapult one. See, because Jake can transform the dog. He says he's a dog, but he can do shit like this. So I thought he was an alien, because Finn is a human in the cartoon. But to go to places like this, like Candyland and shit like that, where nothing makes sense, and like I said, like everything's alive. So. It's like a dream world. Um, it, I don't know. It's hard to explain. You really have to go and watch it to understand it. But I found this on the PlayStation Plus um, on free games to download. This is just a demo. Um, and after you've done that one investigation, it ends. But it's only like 12 quid to buy. So I'm seriously thinking about buying it. But if you like the look of it I and mean, you like Adventure Time, if not, go and check it out. Definitely look on YouTube or something. But that's it. That's it.